Hi and welcome. If your cruise visits La Spezia in Italy, you should definitely consider visiting the beautiful Cinque Terre. In this video, we give you a step-by-step -step guide to visiting the Cinque Terre from La Spezia Cruise Terminal, where to get the Cinque Terre cards for unlimited travel for a day, and we take a look at some of the Cinque Terre villages themselves, including our recommendations of the ones not to miss. We've created this guide specifically for cruise passengers who want to visit the Cinque Terre, so we hope you find it useful. Good morning from La Spezia. Yes, morning everybody, another nice day here. Uh, We're at the train station at the moment, yeah. just waiting for our train to go to Cinque Terre. We've just missed one, but they're <laughs> quite frequent anyway, so... So, yeah. something that you might want to think about if you go to La Spezia is getting a, a Cinque Terre pass. And this is, I think it was like 18 euros... 18, 20. 18 euros 20 for the day. And that just means that you can ride the train up and down that path, uh, the, the track that goes to all the Cinque Terre villages. So, last month we went to first two which were Manarola and Ria Maggiore I want to say that it's easy for you to say and then uh, we are gonna skip the third one because it's up a big hill and it's not by the coast today we're going to Venaza and we're going to Monterosa which is more of like a beachy village so we are gonna go there today and then we are thinking we might not do but we're gonna see a little Ferryish, yeah. ferry bike, so yeah. we can hopefully see everything from from the coast line. Yes, yeah, we're looking to see whether we can just see it from a different perspective. Mm. So, if we can't work out the ferry times or we're a bit worried, we might just come back on the train. But it yeah. might be a bit of an adventure. Yeah, we've got to a pass go anywhere to come back on the train, yeah. so it's all included. It's for a, for the full day, isn't it? Yes, one day unlimited use, yeah. which so is pretty good, really, crossed. compared to what some of the cruise line excursion prices we've seen so yeah, oh, mental some of the prices you won't believe but yeah they're in business to make money it's really easy to get from the cruise terminal to the train station as well so as soon as you get out of the cruise terminal you'll um, see some taxis and you can just ask them to go to the train station and it was 15 euros yeah which isn't bad really which isn't bad gets you there quickly yeah that's uh, the main the thing the <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we're going to have a nice day again. Bye for now. Bye soon. When you first step off your cruise ship in La Spezia, you will need to take a shuttle bus to the cruise terminal building. There are no pedestrian areas in this cruise port, so your cruise ship will organise a free shuttle bus to get you out of the port. Once you reach the cruise terminal building, you can take a 25-minute walk to the train station or get a taxi found across the road under the trees. As we mentioned, the taxi to La Spezia Central train station should be no more than 15 euros and takes about 5 to 10 minutes. Once you reach the train station, take a right and you'll find the Cinque Terre card office. You can purchase a Cinque Terre card for €18.20 Euros per adult and €11.40 Euros for children aged 4 to 11 years old. This card gives you unlimited travel on the train between La Spezia and Levanto, access to the hiking trails, the bus to Cornelia, Wi-Fi access on the train and the use of bathrooms at the train stations in the Cinque Terre. To validate your Cinque Terre card, you must write your name and sign the back. It's worth knowing that you have a unique username and password on your card for the Wi-Fi on the trains. From La Spezia train station, you need to find the correct platform for the train going to Levanto. The first Cinque Terre village you will arrive at is Ria Maggiore. From the train platform, you can access the coastal footpath, but we'd say only attempt this if you're fine to walk on an even ground and don't mind steps and a few inclines. If you prefer to take a flatter route, exit the train station and follow the sign to Rio Maggiore Central. You'll walk through a pedestrian tunnel and into the village from there. Rio Maggiore means major river from when a river ran through the village. You can take some time to admire the view of the small harbour and pastel houses perched on top of the cliff. Ria Maggiore is one of the best places to hire a kayak in the Cinque Terre, so if you want to see the village from the sea, do it here. The next village you'll come across on the train is Manarola. 
This village has the most grapevines in the Cinque Terre and around Christmas time until February you can see the largest nativity scene in the world. There's only about 350 people who actually live in Manarola, but believe us when we say that this village can feel very busy once the visitors and tours start arriving. From the train station, you can walk down through the main street, which is lined with cafes and shops. There's also some nice places to stop for a coffee by the waterfront. Here, you'll see people swimming in the crystal clear waters or simply just sunbathing on the rocks. If you want to visit Corniglia, the third village, we'd recommend getting the shuttle bus that stops at the top of Manarola. It's included with your Cinque Terre card and definitely beats walking up the huge hill. We chose to skip Corniglia and go on to Venaza on the train. Venaza is the only village in the Cinque Terre with a natural harbour and the most authentic fishing village of all the villages. There's a small beach and a square that you can sit and admire the view. You can watch local children crabbing from the side of the harbour and also see St Margarita Church built on the rocks and overlooking the sea. If you walk to the harbour wall you can get a fantastic view of Anatza and its terraced vineyards. We'd recommend spending plenty of time here. This is the village that is said to have been the inspiration for the fictitious village in Disney Pixar's movie, Luca. There are plenty of small cafes and shops in Venazza's narrow streets, but we decided to get a sandwich with salami and burrata near the harbour and sit by the beach for a little while. We did contemplate taking the ferry from here, but we decided the sea looked a bit choppy on the day we visited, so we decided to head back to the train station to visit the fifth and final village, Monterosa. Trains run about four times an hour, so whatever time you get back to the train station, you're never waiting too long. When you arrive in Monterosso, you walk out of the train station onto the seafront and you can see straight away that this village is definitely very different to the others in the Cinque Terre. Monterosso can be divided into two parts with the large beach area near the train station. If you stay on Via Figina and take a left from the train station, you'll come to a tunnel that takes you to the old town. Before the tunnel, you can also walk up to the medieval tower of Aurora. The old town is a warrant of small streets with lots of restaurants and shops. We much preferred this to the beachfront area. Monterosso has a long tradition of cultivating lemons and so you'll be able to buy lots of limoncello, lemon granita, lemon gelato, lemon cakes and soap here. There's even a lemon festival that takes place here in May. If you decide to take the ferry back to La Spezia from Monterosso, you should allow two hours in order to get back without missing the cruise ship. Be aware that not all ferries from Monterosso take you back to La Spezia, so check the timetable in advance. I'll leave a link in the description for you. On the train, you can get from Monterosso to La Spezia Central in around 20 minutes, so it's definitely the quicker option if you want to maximise your time in the Cinque Terre. Visiting the Cinque Terre from La Spezia is doable independently, and we hope this guide has shown you how easy it is to do. Visiting for one day on a cruise does mean that time is limited. You could, at a push, see all villages in the Cinque Terre in one day, but you wouldn't really be able to spend much time in it each. Instead, we'd recommend focusing your time in Rio Maggiore, Manarola and Venaza because they are the prettiest villages in our opinion. Here are our top tips for visiting the Cinque Terre from La Spezia. Start your day early because by lunch the villages can get very busy with tourists. Use the bathrooms in the train station that are free with the Cinque Terre card or buy a drink in one of the cafes and use the toilet there. Cinque Terre is known for its wine, pesto, lemons and anchovies, so try some of the local food during your visit. We recommend wearing comfortable shoes if you plan to walk any of the coastal footpaths. And finally, keep your Cinque Terre card safe, as there are train conductors who will check your ticket on the train. When you get back to La Spezia train station, we'd recommend walking back to the cruise terminal through the city centre. It's a nice leisurely stroll back to the shaded promenade that leads you directly to the cruise terminal building and the port shuttle buses. If you've made it this far in the video, we want to thank you and we hope you found this video useful. We'd really appreciate you giving it a like to help others find it more easily. If you have any questions about La Spezia and the Cinque Terre, pop them in the comments and we'll try our best to answer them. For more videos about cruising and things to do in cruise port, hit the subscribe button now.